Right, so this what we're going to do now is we're going to stop Scratch from falling off the bottom of the screen and we're going to use a very simple method to do it. So you can see I've been letting this program run for a while and if you look at the variable for Scratch, Scratch is now considerably further down than minus 180 and that's not very good. So we want to put in a way of preventing Scratch from going too far. Now, to do that, we're going to use the if. Now, an if is part of control, so making sure I'm clicked on Scratch. I'm going to stop it by pressing the stop there. Which is like that. I go to my control, and I'm going to use, at the moment, I'm going to use a simple if. Now, it looks a lot like the loop is what we're actually doing in Scratch is we're making very simple flowcharts. And uh, the idea of this shape is it's to show that uh, if something happens, then it's to go inside and go straight down. But if something doesn't happen, then what's going to happen with the flow of the program is it's going to flow around and down. So it's showing you how things flow. Look at the forever loop, we can see this happening. We start at the event, go through our setups, then it flows down, and then goes around, and flows down again, around, and flows down again. And this is how it works. Okay, so I take this if. I want to now know what happens if our Y goes too far. So I'm going to go to operator, and in operator, we're going to use the more than symbol. Because we only want something to happen if the y position is more than minus 180. And it's still falling down. So what the variable we care about at the moment is y, the position y. So we'll take that. If y is more than minus 180, and there is our question. You notice it's almost like a diamond from flowcharts where you have a diamond here. It's just been chopped off the top and bottom, but that's where the shape comes from. We place that in there. I now the only, want to remove my set gravity to gravity, y to y minus gravity, place it inside here. So it's only going to run that if y is more than minus 180. So remember, our negative thing, more than minus 180 would be, say, minus 170, 0, or any positive number. I now take this if and place it in here, and now let's see what happens when I rerun it. So, if we look carefully, you can see this value here. This scratch goes down. It's still more than minus 180 at this point. And boom. All right. Now, y is no longer more than minus 180. And because it's no longer true, this question here, this condition is no longer true, it no longer goes straight down, is it follows the other path. It goes around and down instead. And then all the way back up to the top, and around and down. So we have put a simple stop. So what I would like you to do is I would like you to open your coding I would like you to go to control and drag in a simple if, go to your operator or operations, drag across a more than, and from the variable place a y in the first part of it, and then type in minus 180, make sure that says minus 180. Then you can take your set y to y minus gravity, drop it inside so that it will only run this. If that is true, take the whole thing and pop it back here and run it and test the system. Away you go.